I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm really tired. And I'm sure you are as well. It's bad news for the Boeing 777X. Deja vu. With concerns arising over a possible slip in the launch date of the upcoming widebody program. Kelly Ortberg, the chief executive officer at Boeing, when speaking at Morgan Stanley, said there was much work that still needed to be done to get the certification of the aircraft completed. The mountain of work, as it is being described, is now putting a further delay very possible as the manufacturer admits it's falling behind schedule in getting the new long-haul jet certified. A minor schedule delay is likely now being factored in, and while no confirmation from Ortberg has arisen over what a minor delay would look like, there are obvious already concerns from analysts that this could force an approval to stretch into 2027. What a possible 2027 approval means is that first deliveries would follow only after that. As a result, some airlines may not launch their scheduled passenger flights with the wide body until 2028. That is in a worst case scenario and would be eight years after the plane was meant to enter service. In an ideal world, we're only talking a multi-month delay that'd mean a 2026 approval would still be possible. For Boeing, falling behind once more on the approval process of the 777X spells bad news for its financial performance. Just as improvements were beginning to be felt, as Ortberg warns there would be a financial hit, and the temperature on this new jet is rising. Pressures also coming from naturally the airlines, who know that any fresh delay will further throw off their expected delivery timeframe. A new possible delay, remember, also comes during a period in which I'd actually argue that frustrations from airlines had begun to cool, and airlines had maybe more renewed optimism that progress was firmly being made, and that timeframe which had been publicly confirmed and stuck to for now at least 10 months, was going to be achieved. Now, according to Boeing's most recent guidance, certification and first delivery for the 777X were pushed back to 2026. This was confirmed at the end of last year, when the plane maker openly admitted what we all had been thinking, that was that a 2025 approval and delivery would not be realistic. However, the sheer scale of the work still required to get the 777X certified, despite meaningful progress being made made in the last few months alone is not enough to get it over the line, it would appear. All these delays are considered in light of the original expected launch date of 2020. Five years on, the aircraft remains uncertified and is yet to operate a scheduled passenger flight. What this means for airlines is a catastrophic impact on their fleet planning and financial performance, necessitating the retention of older, less efficient aircraft, which are also on a much larger capacity scale, in an effort to mitigate the blow from the lack of triple 7x deliveries. For airlines such as Emirates and Lufthansa, there has been a persistent shift in forecasting, accompanied by equally public frustrations about the continued missed timeframes from Boeing for the launch of the program. Now, with Ortberg, who has been appointed with the mammoth task of turning around the manufacturer, which, yes, actually has seen meaningful progress in, but equally is trying to wrestle the certification of remaining jets, confirming they're behind, while well, the 777x launch would come likely seven, eight years after initial expectations. While new aircraft launches are not typically smooth and all new planes encounter really some form of delay, just like building a house or a car, what has been visible with the 777X has been quite colossal, remembering that the most recent A321 XLR did also encounter a delay. Yes, this wasn't a clean sheet, neither is the 777X, but the XLR was not on the scale of what we have seen in this area with this wide body program. By the time the 777X operates a scheduled passenger flight, scarily, it'll be 14 to 15 years between the launch and that first flight, a major period of time that has left airlines and onlookers frustrated, and for me, I'm tired. I just want to see this plane launched. It is one of my most highly anticipated planes. I am so excited to see it in person, the folding wingtips, something that has always fascinated me, those huge engines. It's just a fantastic profile, so to be able to see this plane is amazing, but I feel like they keep dangling the carrot and then taking it away. One day, and I mean one day, the 777X will be flying with passengers, but it does appear likely now we will see another delay to the approval process unless something dramatic was to change, and once more that is per Kelly Ortberg, the Chief Executive Officer at the American Manufacturer. If you want, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Always keen to hear your opinions on this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.
And we'll fly